as a fully functioning grown man or woman, you're going to have to put those excuses to the side and just get the done that you're trying to get done. Next reason why you didn't get certified in 2023, it says uh, you lost sight of the why factor. It says goals can be set on any topic imaginable, but if you don't have a higher purpose, it makes it easy to give up once the initial motivation and excitement wears off. Understanding how your goal is relevant to you allows you to persevere even when the going gets tough. So what is your why factor? Why are you trying to get into tech? I want to make six figures. Is six figures really the motivation? factor or is you getting into a career field that you think can provide you career stability at the forefront of all industries for the most part because our entire economy is based is directly tied to IT are these some of the motivational factors maybe you want to change your family's financial future your financial future you just want to put yourself in a position to be more upwardly mobile than you probably currently are. And then once you figure out that why factor, once again, you got to, when you're going through the process, of, oh Lord, this stuff is boring. These certifications are dry. Tech G's videos are just dry and yada, yada. This, I've heard it all, right? You got to keep that why factor in front because here's the thing. Once you guys go get the job, your tech job, you start working in tech, doing whatever you do, you know, unless you're studying for another certification, you're not looking at dry, boring slideshows every single day. Like when I go to work, I'm not looking at slideshows unless I'm creating them for you guys to look at. Oftentimes I got whatever system I'm in charge of monitoring over here. And I got my Netflix, Amazon, or YouTube playing over here. Like it's just kind of how my life, my professional life is structured these days, right? But for those of you guys trying to get to that point, you got to have this why factor, man. When you're going through the dry, boring lectures and you're sitting there crying your eyeballs out, trying to understand why the hell you're learning this stuff. Just think about what is at the end of these damn slideshows. There's a job waiting for you. There's hopefully an increase in salary waiting for you. There's there's a chance to upgrade your lifestyle, upward mobility, you know, whatever it is that you might be lacking now in your professional life and personal life. This is what is at the, hopefully at the end of the rainbow, once you get through all these dry, boring slideshows. So keep the why factor in mind. Excuses, excuses, and more excuses. So listen, we all know everybody got an excuse, right? I have excuses. You got excuses. Your kids got excuses. Your mommy and daddy got excuses. Everybody got an excuse. But but at some point, as a fully functioning grown man or woman, you're going to have to uh, put those excuses to the side and just get the done that you're trying to get done. I mean, that that's the only way that this thing works, right? Especially when you're trying to learn these certifications so that you can hopefully make yourself more marketable and go get one of these illustrious IT jobs and make the big bucks. Because here's the reality. Nobody cares about your excuses. I mean, they're nice to listen to. We'll pat you on the back and tell you everything's going to be okay. But at the end of the day, nobody really cares, man, because we all got our own excuses. We all got our, our problems that we're dealing with. And nobody really wants to hear your crap especially if your crap is being put on top of my crap or somebody else's crap. So you just got to decide in your brain, I'm going to get this crap done because I'm trying to get this crap done so I can get to whatever level in life I'm trying to get to. So all the excuses, oh, I broke my leg. I was in the hospital. My baby mama left me. My baby mama hit me with child support. My baby daddy did this. Don't nobody care. Nobody cares, man, other than you. But most people, they, they don't care. Prospective employers, they're not going to care. All they want to do is see, do you meet the requirements to apply for this job? If not, nobody cares about anything that was going on in your personal life. You know, I hate to sound like that, but I'm, I'm just one of these, I'm not going to say an extreme realist, but nobody cares. You got to remove the excuses and just get the crap done. Next, we got a fear of failure. It says not reaching a goal because of the fear of failure is crippling and an insecurity that can seriously hold you back in life. Nobody wants to fail and fear of failure often stems from a need for perfectionism. So I see this fear of failure a lot when it comes to people who are scared to take these tests. So people will go through They'll study their eyeballs out, learn all the information that they got to learn, and then they'll freeze up at the test. They won't go out there and take the test for whatever freaking reason that they can conjure up in their mind. 
because you know they're scared of failure my thing is you got to go out there and take the test that's the only way you're going to ever find out if you can actually pass these certs is by going to take the test and so what let's just say you do go out there you take your certification exam and you fail who gives a damn go back and take it again especially if it's something that you really want because chances are hopefully that nervousness factor will have a uh, subsided somewhat you already know what to expect when you're going in there so hopefully that'll give you enough time to properly prepare in a way that you probably didn't properly prepare and then i believe the odds of you passing on the second time will drastically go up so you can't necessarily just let fear paralyze you yes we're all human yes we all experience a fear of failure but at some point you gotta get over that and go out there and just try to make it do what it do